Seven years ago, Julia Sodwe hung his boots from active police service as the Deputy Inspector General of Police, the second highest rank in the force. He had served the institution for nearly 40 years and steadily rose through the ranks. When he agreed to speak to NTV, it was clear there were certain things he needed to get off his chest about the serial murders in Wakiso district, and this before he could even sit down. Why are they in those offices? They are paid by whom? They are paid by these dead women. It is these dead women who pay taxes and the money comes to the institutions. So they must work for these people whether you want to know. Public institution, you work in an environment where sometimes you are not happy. But you must work. Eh? You could disagree with certain things, but in a real sense you must, you must work. The alleged frosty relationship between police chief General Kali Kaira and the security minister, Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde, has been blamed for the slow work by security agencies in investigating the spate of killings in Nansana and Entebbe municipalities. When these people talk different, it means that they are disorganized. You know when you are in a war front, you must unite. If there is anybody doing a different thing, he's a wrong commander. He's letting down the fight, the, the battle, he's letting down the battle because he's bringing division. But they could be ignorant of what the other one is talking. Odue also took issue with the two principals for visiting the crime scenes of the serial murders. He says this undermines the work of principal investigators. It, it, it does not only bias, it interferes with the investigation because you are obstructing the officers in the field. You are bringing confusion. You should be somewhere calling for somebody. There is an officer, like I've said, your senior investigation officer. That's the person whom they should get information from. Like uh, the officers who are on the ground, they can only inform the senior investigation officer. Not everybody. Of As Deputy Inspector General of Police, Odwe was at the head of the community policing initiative when it was launched years ago. He also doesn't speak warmly of crime preventers, who police say are critical in curbing crime across the country. For me, I look at these crime preventers they are talking about as yeah, people who are not partisan to police work. They, they are doing other things. They have not been well prepared. You see, last time when we talked again in, in, in April, I talked about this crime prevention. I'm told that there are 11 million. But how can 11 million fail to identify at least one? A mystery of nine murders continues to haunt the police in Entebbe municipality and another 10 in Nansana municipality. A public demanding for answers has also kept police officers on their toes. Odwe says police needs to give extra care in investigating cases of sustained public interest. So if there is any rating of failure in the police, it is there. Except the magnitude is what I cannot make it. Magnitude of failing and magnitude of succeeding. They may have succeeded in certain areas, but they have also failed in, in some areas. And where they have failed is where the public is concerned not where they have passed. So the police themselves should have paid attention. Where have they failed? The former deputy police chief, who is now a security and governance consultant, says he will take a letter, a copy of which we have sent to the police chief. In the letter, he suggests a return to the use of established police systems to crack crime. Raymond Mujini, NTV.